god. Do you guys have any idea how difficult it was to make this list? What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another top video. Very recently we've taken a look at my top favorite dynamic intros in Lost Judgment and I've ranked those based on personal preference and personal reasons. And with the Kaito files having just been out, I thought that, that was the perfect time to go ahead and uh, make that video. But with that video out of the way, I've had a lot of people telling me, not just recently, but also like way back, that I should revisit some of my older top 5 or 10 videos. Especially because it's been a long ass time since like a video like my top 10 dynamic intros. That was like... Five to six years ago now. Holy shit, time flies by. So yeah, five to six years. Uh, let's see how many games came out since that time. Kiwami 1, Kiwami 2, Judgment, Lost Judgment, Yakuza 6, Yakuza Like a Dragon. That's a lot of games. <laughs> Don't think I forgot any game, but I do sometimes have memory issues, so I, uh, I, I, I could have just forgotten about one name in there. I, I don't know, I hope not. But yeah, having said that, we are going to be taking a look today at my top 10 favorite dynamic intros, not just in one particular series, but in all of Yakuza. And when I say that, I mean games like, of course, obviously Yakuza games, but also that includes Judgment and Lost Judgment games and some other spin-offs like Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise, remember that? So yeah, you guys, um, there is a shit ton of dynamic intros at this point in the series and I'm gonna say it again, it was so freaking difficult to pick and choose for this list, okay? So if you don't see something that you like in this list, try to understand where I'm coming from. Hell, while I was making this video, I broke a couple of rules just because of the amount, the crazy amount of dynamic interest that we have at this point, and my limited uh, selection that I have to pick for this list, which is, you know, t uh, like 10. Well, there's, there's honorable mentions as well, but uh, let's leave those aside for now. Alrighty then, without saying too much and boring you with any other talk, without further ado, let's get into the list. Oh, before we do, I do want to say, for every viewer watching this right now, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. さあ、いよいよ決勝戦。そろそろあの男がやってくるはずです。現地下闘技場チャンピオン。マジマ。ゴール。半年前、この彼を倒すことができるのは果たして桐生なのでしょうか。今リングインです。どうやキルチ。かっこいいやろ。たくあんただけは読めねえな。さあ、今度は正々堂々勝負しよう Yakuza Kiwami 2 had a few dynamic intros in it. Some of them were pretty simple, like Shindo's or Ryuji's second fight. And then you have this dynamic intro, which is also simple, but anyone who's not a stranger to Yakuza going into Kiwami 2 will feel the incredible weight behind this one. Asset reuse can sometimes make you roll your eyes, but them using Receive You the prototype here is perfect. And I'm glad they kept that in. Let's also think about the following. The last chronological fight that happened between Kiryu and Majima was the underground fight between the two in Yakuza 3. So seeing them go back to this fight in Kiwami 2 to give it this sweet dynamic intro really feels like a tribute of sorts and I appreciate it for that. I used to wish we'd gotten one more fight with the two in a game like Yakuza 6, but honestly, thinking back on it, 
I'm glad they didn't pump out yet another fight because it makes reminiscing on the existing ones that much sweeter and saves the risk of redundancy. Yo, real quick before we leave this entry, get a load of the sick ass music sync I got while recording this fight. Holy shit, this one was so good. I can't blame you if you think I faked it, but if you'll take my word for it, it happened without any premeditation.背中から不意打ちしてきたあいつらのこと。If you've seen my recent top 5 video with Lost Judgment's dynamic intros, you would know that Tesso quickly ended up being one of my favorite characters introduced in the Judgment subseries. The build up to this fight under a rainy night and Yagami stepping into unknown territory only to be ambushed by this guy with his claws is fantastic. There is a sense of unknown danger stepping into this fight because you have no idea what to expect afterwards. And you know what? I'm not gonna complain about this dude becoming best friends with us later on because that's a big part of his charm and why I came to like him as much as I did. Soma is one of those villains that won over so many people very quickly, and it's easy to see why. Aside from the fact that he's a dashing lad, his soundtrack is unlike any other villain track in the game, and it really does feel like you're up against a killer. I chose this intro over his second one because of what happens leading up to this fight, where he quickly eliminates the advantage Yagami had at the time, which is strength in numbers, by stabbing Kaito twice and therefore immediately creating a tense atmosphere in the room. I also think that in a way, the location being a small abandoned bar may just be creepier than fighting him in the freezer. Also, big props for the sequence at the end where you just see more of this guy being naughty. I mean, creepy. Good. <laughs> <laughs> 
しましてくれるぜ一ついいことを教えといてやる極道ってのはなボクシングとは違え喧嘩に負けたやつが敗者になるんじゃねえ最後まで張り続けらんなかったやつが負けるんだよああそうだろうがの世界に慶応はねえ俺なきり指の一本や二本なくそうが阿波野や渋沢に頭取られようがそんなことは構えしねえんだ命ある限り何度でも這い上がってやるだからよてめえみたいな半端もんが一番許せねえんだよ死ねえバカや、うん God, how the fuck could you not get excited after seeing that? This moment in Yakuza 0 has to be one of the most hype inducing in all of the game. Kuze already has one of the best tracks in the game and when you add a confrontation of this caliber between the two, it's just overkill. Kuze is another one of those villains that won many people over going through the game, but for different reasons than someone like Soma. Kuze wasn't exactly, well, evil. At least not as evil as some of the other villains in this game. After all the run-ins he has with Kiryu and getting his ass beat every single time, he just goes, You know what, kid? I think I had enough. Y you got this. G go and get him. Which is a surprisingly warm gesture that has you going, Thanks for the encouragement, you bastard. I won't let you down. There's also that other excellent dynamic intro when you find Tachibana. And as much as I absolutely love that one as well, I put the sewer intro here instead because I feel like this is THE moment that made Kuze who he is for many people and etched him into the memories of the players as one of the most persistent villains.始末したはずの男がこうまで俺に立てついてくるとはなマジバおかげで阿波野も使い物にならなくなっちまったシマノも消さなきゃならねえ面倒ばかりだ道島そうへそこにいる男は体力で一番金がかかる殺し屋だそいつに仕事を受けさせるルートと金がある限り
俺は誰だろうが好きにやれる力ってのはこういうもんだお前らだけはもう何があっても死んでもらわな収まらんのやせやないとあの子は黒い闇から逃れられんラオグエイ油断するなよ<笑>地獄の底まで引きずり込んだるわどうじめラウグイズ・イントロ・レメインズ・エイ・トップ・フェイブレット・フォー・メニー・メニー・リーズンズ・アイ・ロー・フ・パーソナル・レイジ・ドゥ・レヴェン・ビルド・アップス・アン・イン・ア・ゲーム・シリーズ・ウォー・ユー・シー・アロー・ヴィルン・ズ・ノー・ゲティング・ウォー・デ・デゼーヴ・オー・ウォー・ユー・デ・ジェス・ジェネリー・スピーキング・エイ・ロー・ディ・フォー・ギヴネス・アン・ゴイング・トゥ・テイク・ディーズ・レイジ・ドゥ・レヴェン・ダイナミック・イントロー・ズ・アン・チェリッシュ・デム・ライク・マイ・チェルトレン・ユー・シー・デ・レーズン・ユー・シー・ン・ラウグイ・ヒー・アン・ナッシュ・ビサワ・イズ・ビカズ・ワー・ユー・シー・ダ・イントロー・イズ・グレイト・The whole there can be only one dragon bit took away so much from it for me, and frankly, just made it sound kind of childish. You've come so far, and standing in front of you is the guy who hurt people you cared about, and that's what you decide to say right before the fight? Whereas with Majima's final boss, all you cared about was finding the piece of shit who shot your blind waifu and getting some good old fashioned payback. Yes, that's simple. But very effective and felt much more natural than Kiryu's encounter. If there is one thing I wish this fight had more of, it's brutality in the quick time events. In the Shibusawa fight, the way they beat each other down in those sequences is so full of raw energy. Although, I guess it does make sense for Laogui's fight to be the way it is because you're fighting a professional assassin and Majima can't afford to get as reckless. Oh, yeah, can we just talk about how it's just. Fascinating. Think about this. Majima is a 24 year old in this game. Sure, we can assume he's more experienced than Kiryu, but he's still only 24 and casually goes. <laughs> Majima was such a badass in this game, even under all the emotion and anger he went through. God damn. Kobushi de Hitomir type and then so you know it's no Kirajan in Tagedo Yametoganega Joe Hodake Ushite Moreneka Nazeda Kokontogo Urno Mari de Taijina Ningenga Tatetus Genishin deo Doerak Kigata Tende 今の俺は手加減する自信がねえあんたをやりかねねえよふん<笑>そりゃちょうどいいなんだとふざけやがって配達は飲むんじゃねえぞ<笑>お前の欲しがっている宝はこの奥にある宝の番人は俺だ手にしたきゃその番人を倒して前に進め<音声>やってやるよ死ぬ気で来い
This may be a controversial one because I know not everyone appreciates the appearance of Kiryu in Like a Dragon, and actually I can understand why. The main argument for those against it is that Kiryu returned a little too quickly. And yeah, perhaps he did, but god damn, you can't tell me seeing the new guy being disciplined and put in his place by Kiryu was not hype as hell. For what it's worth, I do think Kiryu being in 7 had a good reason. Maybe not so much in the Omi headquarters when he showed up there, but for the purpose of guiding Ichiban after certain events. Ichiban, after learning of Arakawa's death, was absolutely mental. He needed a wall of some sorts to go against to calm him down, and what better wall to do that than someone like Kiryu? And at the same time, they'd have this sort of passing the torch kind of thing going on, which hits two birds with one stone. For all the controversy surrounding Kiryu being in 7 though, I am 100% sure that this is one of those moments in the game that still made many people excited regardless. I know for a fact I saw many people hyped as hell when I played this on stream and it was beautiful. Oreniwa This intro gives me goosebumps every single time I watch it, which I did that a lot after beating the game. From what I've seen around the community, this seems to be one fight that, for the most part, is collectively loved by almost everyone. And if you played the game, which I am assuming you did because, uh, hold on, hold on. If you haven't played the game, I got something to show you. Don't do this to yourself. Just leave. Okay, wait, maybe... Maybe you just don't mind spoilers, which I'll have you know, you have my respect on that. Anyway, if you played the game, you'll know exactly how much Kuwana's story is an object of debate and discussion, more so than probably every other villain in the series, or at least he's up there. Like, listen, right? You play Lost Judgment and you're either Kuwana did nothing wrong, or Kuwana did everything wrong. I don't think there's an in-between for this. Regardless, the soundtrack of this fight is among the best in the series, and I think my only complaint is that I wished for a more extensive finisher to the fight. So then, Bourgeon, <笑>人を騙し取るもんは自分も騙されてるとは思わんもんや。けど <笑> てめえ。せやさかいあの日胸に穴開けたあの人が息を引き取るまでわしはその目をじっと覗き込んで見届けてやったんや。荒川がこの世の最後に見てたのはこの足のとびっきり急とな笑顔や。それをわしからの感謝の気持ちのプレゼントやったんやで。ふざけんな。くそやろう。くそか。せやったら相当生まれの
これでしまいにせえ最後にてっぺんとんのはこのわしやで踊れの成り上がり話はここまでやこいつを I may be forgetting some characters, which, if I did, please do mention some in the comments, but Kendo is one of the very few characters in the series that not only actually efficiently fooled people into thinking he's on our side, but also has the strength to back himself up. There's a lot of other Yakuza villains that arrive at the very end and they're like, ha oh, you all stupid bitches, I'm the mastermind, when really, you either saw that coming or they're holding a gun and just start shooting like every person in the goddamn room. <laughs> Tendo, on the other hand, is an example of manipulation and strength combined. And when I say manipulation, I mean probably the most convincing example we have in the series so far. I remember saying this on the comments of one of the Tendo soundtrack videos around, but this dynamic intro is straight out of Olympus with the sky lightening up the way it is in the background. The way Tendo mocks Arakawa and gloats about how he killed him specifically to piss Ichiban off even more than he already is, adds a special layer of scum to him, and I absolutely love that. Because do remember, we have so many instances of villains who either redeem themselves, or aren't so bad that they're just in the way. But Tendo is an evil son of a bitch, and I really appreciate that we got yet another irredeemable villain that we can enjoy beating. The fight itself, given that this game's genre is RPG, is long, long. And I understand that this is a big negative for some people, but playing through this, it just made me think, when is this beast of a guy going to give in? But yeah, dynamic intro aside, Tendo is definitely one of my favorite overall villains in the entire series. じゃあ、戦いのゴングを鳴らすのは今日ここまで頑張ってくれた。サオリさん。頼めんかな。え美人が鳴らすゴングならよけに気合も入るってもんだ。ああ。一丁景気の頼むぜ。そうですか。では、
until he jumps in and then we get to see a sweet bit of teamwork with Higashi saving Yagami and then Akutsu takes this kick like a champ and cue the gameplay. This will probably remain a top favorite for a while, much like Laogui's intro still being in this list many years later. How's it going? Before we get into honorable mentions and all that, let's have a small break. If you haven't drank water in a while, now is the time to do so. Go drink some water, hydrate a little bit. Real talk though, the real purpose of this segment is to just kind of chill, take a little small break from all of these entries and talk a bit. I actually wanted to take the opportunity to just mention a few things. So, uh, I have a few emotes coming to the channel as uh, a perk of being a member. And my current emotes aren't really that good, so look forward to the ones coming. Hopefully they'll be much better than the ones that we have now, and maybe they're gonna make that price worth it. And if you do choose to support me, I wholeheartedly appreciate that. Thank you. Is the Iceberg video still in the making? Yes and no, it's pretty complicated. So the Iceberg video is like, at least the way I'm making it, it's gonna be like, hundred videos in one video so for that reason a lot of times when I get down to working on it I get a bit discouraged not gonna lie to you guys but I do hope I can finish it one day so there is that as for more top 10 top 5 videos then yeah probably I mean I've been making quite a few uh, recently and this is one you may ask what about tier list video devil Leon 7 and I say yes those are probably also there's gonna be more of them so look forward to that and yeah, uh, I guess small break over. Let's hop back into the list. Jun, Miko, Hanaretero. Itabutte tanoshimu jikan wa nasa sou da. Keisatsu ga kuru mai ni kata o tsukeru. You gotta hear me out. We're at a point of time where we just have too many good dynamic intros. In my first top 10 video, I had three honorable mentions. I decided to bump that number up to five for the revisit just because we've had a ton of additions as you guys know by now. And yes, I know this is yet another Lost Judgment intro, but you can't blame me for saying this game brought some of the best stuff we've had so far. Kiyoya is another addition to the vile human being of a villain list who basically committed mass murder and intended to frame it on someone else. If that's not messed up, I don't know what is. Kiyoya may have been predictable to some, but I think we still got a decent fight at least. This is also one of those instances where it's like, this guy is a CEO and we never heard about any fighting background for him, so... How can he fight like that again? Regardless, a sick intro, a sick track, and we get to see more love for Kaito, so it's all wonderful. Ishian is one RGG game that didn't really stick with me for some reason. What I do know and still stand by to this day though is that the fight against Izo is more memorable to me than any other boss fight in that game. This is just Kiryu vs Nishiki but a couple hundred years ago and the remix for whose sake is just so beautiful. I also love that this is an actual duel to the death. We get so many instances in Yakuza games where a character goes, ha, yeah, bitch, I'll murder your ass, but then they're either friends the next second or they're forgiven. So 
This fight was extremely refreshing in that sense, seeing that they actually meant it. さあ、こっちはいつでもいいぞ。覚悟はいいな。行くぞ。Yakuza 4 has a selection of fantastic dynamic intros. I decided to put this one on the list instead of Saijima purely because we kinda get more out of this with it being one pro tag versus two pro tags. I think anybody who went through this will tell you it was awesome seeing Kiryu floor these two like they were nothing. And it really goes to show just how much of a difference there is between these two combined compared to Kiryu. The whole pro tag versus pro tag thing that Yakuza 4 had going on is one of my favorite things about the game. And I would say they definitely did it better than Yakuza 5 did when Kiryu fought Saijima in there. You guys think Kenzan and Ishin are forgotten games? Nowadays, I see exactly, uh, let's see, zero people talk about this game. I do understand that it's because Kenzan and Ishin still haven't been localized, but Piss of the North Star Lost Paradise is a fantastic game regardless, even if it's a bit grindy. And because I know there's gonna be that one person out there saying, oh, the same to Yakuza though, let me remind you that this is an official collaboration between Yakuza and Hokuto no Ken. This game is called Hokuto ga Gotoku in Japanese, which mixes Hokuto no Ken with Yakuza's Japanese title, Ryu ga Gotoku. So, this game has always been and will always be a Yakuza game. Not a mainline one, obviously, but still one. Setting that aside, Thouser, or Souther, whichever one you prefer, has a heavenly track with an intro that always does it for me. The whole thing about figuring out his pressure points during the fight as well was a creative way to make the fight stand out among the others. All in all, just a wonderful fight. If you've been around the channel long enough, you'll know Higashi is one of my favorite Judgment characters. His theme is absolutely top top tier, and I still can't believe how good it is. This dynamic intro and the gorgeous location combined equals a phenomenal fight. Even with a reused quick time event, I still really enjoyed this fight. お前の理想なんかどうでもいい。わしはただ目の前に<笑>
All right, I may have lied about five honorable mentions because once again, when we're talking about the entire series at this point, there's just way, way too many good intros and I can't help but squeeze in an extra one. So I'm, I'm sorry, okay? Ibuchi's intro from Kiwami 2, especially around the time it came out, was arguably top five for probably most people and it still holds up well. The problem is, the fight itself was extremely bland and didn't really have anything to show for it. The fact that Majima's combat in Kiwami 2 was bare bones compared to his in Zero sadly contributes to that, but regardless, they did a fantastic job on one of the best intros at least. あきらめろ。もう全て終わりだ。うるせえ。まだ終わりじゃねえ。どういう意味だ。アドデックナインだよ。あの存在がある限り、俺は終わらねえ。あんたさっき、ショウノには生きていてもらうって言ってたな。
Yeah. Also, now that we're here, I guess I may as well go ahead and say that I might prefer Kuroiwa as a final boss rather than Kuwana. Kuwana is an excellent final boss, and he's the kind of character that leaves people debating for a good while. But when it comes to a climactic finale as a whole, I do think Kuroiwa as the final obstacle was more satisfying. I guess part of that is because the first game was more personal to Yagami, and several of the characters around him as well, like Higashi and Sugura, whereas the second one is more of a major case that Yagami took that doesn't really have much to do with him. Lastly, let's give a special little segment dedicated to how fucking awesome this second phase bit is. The fight was already pretty good on its own, but this just made it a concrete top tier for me. And with this, I think we finally come to an end, ladies and gents. This was a pretty lengthy video, and I tried as much as my impatient self could to take my time with it. So I hope it was something of an enjoyable watch. Which dynamic intros are your favorites when it comes to all of the games? There's plenty of them, so I imagine most of you will probably try to work your brain trying to think about this one. But by all means, feel free to type them down in the comments, and maybe even discuss with others about what makes some dynamic intros so good. As always, I'd like to thank my amazing Hania and Dragon supporters for their constant support. You help me keep going and encourage me to do more for the channel. Oh, and do remember that we have professionally made emotes on the way, and you can use those not only on streams, but also in my channel comments as much as you'd like. So go crazy on those once the time comes, which hopefully shouldn't be too far away from now, maybe a couple of weeks or so. But with that being said, that's it for this video. Y'all take care now. Peace! I do want to apologize for one thing, by the way. I know, like, the audio is not perfect with this because I'm recording from my phone, but holy shit. Phone quality is so fucking good as a camera. It works, you know? I'll take this. Uh, I don't know, it just seems way better than using my webcam for, uh, talking. So, here we are. So how is the weather tonight? <laughs> fucking hell, it's probably not even nighttime for a lot of you people, whatever.